All right, everybody, so welcome back to the channel. All right, so today's video is about uh, testing out this Krylon. Let me get into the light here. This Krylon UV archival varnish. It's a matte finish and uh, specifically says it protects acrylic, watercolor, and oil pastel, colored pencils, and oil. All right, and this is a brand new can. And so I got a couple of test subjects here. And these are both 9x12s, and uh, I got this one. This is 100% Paul Rubens on the Art Spectrum Sanded Paper. It's about five months old. I do have a full tutorial on how I did this painting from start to finish. It's uh, kind of older, so I think it's about five months old when I painted this one. And then we have this one here, also on the Art Spectrum Sanded Paper. And this is 100% Sennelier. And um, so we got 100% Sennelier, 100% Paul Rubens. And we're going to try out this archival matte varnish, okay? All right, let's see how it performs. And uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm inside my studio again. And um, as soon as I spray this, you'll see me kind of go over. And then I'm going to go ahead and leave the studio for a while and let everything settle. And then um, because it's too strong, I'm going to kind of stay in here with the smell. So I'm going to hold my breath and do this. And then we'll see how many, how many applications of this we can get, we need to use to get full coverage. All right? All right, so I'm going to do a little test spray. There we go. All right, here we go. Okay, I'm ready for round two, and um, it's only been about two hours since that first application, but um, it's already ready to go for a second application, so I didn't have to wait a full day on that. Um, and both of them feeling you know, pretty good. Obviously, I got, I got several more applications to go, but I'm not getting the sticky feel on the sends uh, from this UV archival varnish um, compared to this Kmar. This Kmar varnish left behind a really sticky feel on the sends. Didn't get that with this after it dried out. Another thing that I like this one over this one is uh, one, this smell. This is way better on the smell. Like it's 10 times better as far as how strong that smell is. This is really strong stuff. Almost has like a petroleum kind of gasoline chemical smell. This one does have a smell but not nearly as strong as this one here. The other thing is, um, this takes a good day for, you know, between applications, uh, maybe even two days, but at least a good day, whereas this one, two hours. So I sprayed it that first time. I'm ready to go with a second application. Only waited two hours, and it's ready to go. So, so far, um, this one seems to be the better one. Also, the spray on this nozzle, let me get take this off. The spray on this nozzle is a little bit more direct, like a narrow, narrow spray, whereas this one... This one, the spray is really wide, kind of comes out really wide, whereas this one is a little bit more direct. So I don't know if that's a plus or minus. I kind of have, I kind of like the more direct spray on it. I think it gives a little bit more better control. So anyway, so far I'm really liking this stuff. Um, let's go ahead and do a second application here. All right, so I got these set up here. This again, this is Sennelier, 100% Sennelier, 100% Paul Rubens, both on the Art Spectrum paper. And I'm going to do more of a heavier application, so you're going to kind of see me go across here. And I'm kind of going to maybe do that about three times up and down like this, just all the way across, okay? So I'm going to hold my breath, and then I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. All right? Okay, here we go. Okay, we're ready for round three. Again, I waited, this time I waited about um, maybe just a little bit over an hour. And it is dry, it's ready to go for another application. So this stuff dries really fast, which I really like. I don't have to wait all day. And um, honestly, touching this one with the Paul Rubens, it's dry. 
Like it is really dry. So and you you saw that second application was really heavy. It kind of went over it a good you know three passes over, right? So I used a really heavy application for that second time. But um, you know, all I'm getting is just kind of some of the crumbs from the heavier textured stuff, but it's totally dry to the touch, not sticky. Other side of the paper is good. And uh, so this is holding up real well. Let's look at the one with the Sennelier, 100% Sennelier one. Again, all dry right in here. There are some sticky parts. Um, some colors will just leave a little bit of stickiness, I've noticed, with the suns. A little bit of sticky up in here. But um, overall, pretty good. Let's go ahead and do it another, another round. So, boy, I really like this stuff. It's only... Um, only waiting an hour or so between applications, okay? So let's do another round. I'm going to do another heavy one, and then we'll we'll stop the video. All right, so we'll test it first. All right. Okay, round four, here we go. All right, so this one here, this one's completely dry. No stickiness at all. I can rub my hands all over this and totally protected and clean and it's got that matte finish so there's no gloss to it. All right, let's look at it under the, the light here. All right, so this one's done. This is the one that was, um, Paul Rubens. This one is done. I'm going to go ahead and set it aside over here. And then uh, let's take a look at this other one. Now, this was 100% Sennelier. Again, this is on the Art Spectrum sanded paper. This one is pretty much dry. There are a couple little sticky parts here and there. Um, but pretty much done and protected as well. I'm going to give this one just one more go around. I think the suns just need a little bit more. <laughs> We can see under the light, no gloss, it's got that matte finish. All right, so this has been a really good product. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give it one more round, and then we'll call this one done. So Sinelier took um, four rounds, Paul Rubens took three, and you know I did heavy applications. You saw in the videos I was just going over like several times, back and forth, different directions. So, All right, let's give this one uh, one more go. All right, guys, so let's talk about this varnish. I am done varnishing these two pieces, and let's talk about this a little bit. So, all right, so this one, remember, this is the 100% Paul Rubens on Art Spectrum Santa paper, and it is that matte finish, so you don't see there's really no gloss at all to it. And this is completely, completely protected, 100%. Uh, nice and dry, no wetness at all, no stickiness. It is nice and dry. I can run my hands on it here. Nothing coming up on the fingers. All right, so this is good and the paper held up really good. One thing about using a varnish or a work fixative is you want to get good paper, thick paper for that. And this, so this sanded paper worked great for it. And um, after about three coats, and you watch the video, I did some really heavy coat applications, you know, like the second and third round. Um, it's, it's done. This one was done, ready to go. So the Paul Rubens really held up with it well, and um, this varnish here is great. All right, so there's that one. And then this one, the 100% Snellier one, just took a little bit more coverage. Um, there were parts of the colors here. Some of the colors were still sticky after, you know, I had to do just, just a little bit more heavier application to get past the stickiness. But uh, this one's now all dried up and solid, totally protected, not getting any anything up on my hands when I rub it it's here so feels good nice and solid and again 
held up to uh, nothing coming on the back side of the paper, so it held up really well. Paper's not warping or anything. So this actually worked really well. I was really, really pleased with how this performed. Um, there is a smell to it, um, so you know there, there is kind of a gassing off smell that, that occurs, and so it might be sensitive to some people. It's definitely better than this one. This has got a really strong, strong, strong chemical gasoline, petroleum type odor to it that lasts for a long, 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 long time. This one doesn't have that, although it does have a smell to it. Um, but the um, it doesn't linger on for days and days and days. Um, so this is really a good product. I highly recommend it. It's probably going to be now my go-to varnish I'm going to use. I'm going to see if they have a gloss version and just see what that looks like. I do like the matte because um, there's no gloss that's distracting to the eye. Um, so I really do like the matte. Um, but I got plenty of this can left. And I was comfortable enough to where I could do an application, wait about an hour, come back and do a heavier application, wait about an hour, and then again. And it took about three, three on this one and four on this one. So if you're able to get this, I highly recommend it for oil pastels. Um, it worked out great. And uh, I want to try it on some other pieces, but I'm definitely going to definitely going to keep using this for protecting my oil pastel work. All right, guys. So um, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. These are done. I'm really going to frame these. I ordered some frames, so I'm going to get these framed up and ready to go. And um, I'm going to work on some other ones here. I got some other ones here that need to be covered up and stuff. So I'll be working on that for the next few days. Um, yeah, but thanks for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Any questions, um, if you need to watch my channel, I would appreciate a like. And if you want to see more oil and pastel content, that's what I do. So go ahead and subscribe. And um, all right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.